Hey, what's up YouTube's me Andrew here to do my full review on the all-new Lenovo Yoga 2 Pro laptop. All right, let's get started. So for late 2013, Lenovo introduces the all-new Yoga 2 Pro laptop. These new models also ship with the new Intel Haswell processors, which will help improve battery performance. You'll also get a super high-resolution IPS display with a resolution of 3200 by 1800. Let's find out if this Ultrabook convertible is worth your hard-earning bucks. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and break down the specs for y'all. This laptop features a fourth-generation Intel Core i5-4200U processor running at 1.6 gigahertz with a turbo boost up to 2.6 gigahertz. Four gigabytes of RAM, 13.3-inch QHD plus LED high-definition 10-point capacitive multi-touch display, Intel wireless display ready, 128 gigabyte solid-state drive, Intel HD 4400 graphics. Built-in 720p webcam, 2-in-1 digital media format reader, 1 USB 3.0 port, 1 USB 2.0 port, Bluetooth 4.0 interface. The weight comes in at 3.1 pounds and measures 0.6 inches thin. This laptop currently ships with Microsoft Windows 8.1 and the retail price is $9.99. Alright, for this section let's test out the boot up speed on the new Lenovo Yoga 2 Pro laptop. This laptop features an SSD, so let's get started. There we go. Lenovo logo. Logging in now, and boom, we're booted up. So 9.4 seconds, which is insanely fast for this laptop. All right, this section, let's take a look at the ports on the right side of the laptop. Starting from the right, you got your USB 2.0 port, combo audio jack, volume up and volume down, and you got your rotation lock button. Here goes your Nova button and your power button. Nova button is there, so when the computer is off, you can create a one key recovery system or access the BIOS setup utility. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the left side of the laptop now. All right, starting from the left, you got your AC power adapter charging port, USB 3.0 port, mini HDMI output, SD and MMC card reader. All right, let's take a look at the back and see what else we have. Here you got your exhaust ports for the fan. All right, next up, let's talk about the 10-point capacitive multi-touch display. The touchscreen on this 13.3 inch laptop has been smooth and precise. I haven't had any issues with scrolling, zooming in or out. Overall, Lenovo did an excellent job with the touchscreen on this panel. Alright, next up, let's go ahead and test out the viewing angles on this beautiful 13.3 inch QHD IPS display. Alright, let's go ahead and rotate the laptop to the left. Screen brightness is all the way at 100% right now. The screen is still visible. Check this out, guys. I've been highly impressed with the viewing angles on this laptop, especially being an IPS display. That's one of the main advantages. All right, let's test out the viewing angles on the right side now. Let's go ahead and rotate the laptop to the right. Still very clear and vibrant. Excellent viewing angles, guys. You've got to check this out in person. All right, next up, let's test out the viewing angles on the laptop by pushing the screen all the way down. Since this is a convertible laptop, the screen will go all the way down. Beautiful. Look, at the screen is still visible. This is amazing, guys. You've got to check this out, I'm telling you. Like I said, I've been highly impressed with the screen on this laptop. All right, for this section, I'm going to show you the Lenovo Yoga 2 Pro Laptop Multi-Mode Ultrabook Capabilities. The first mode is going to be their laptop mode, which is the mode I'm in right now. Let me show you the viewing angles from the side. This is the, your standard laptop mode. Alright, next mode we're going to go switch to is tablet mode, which is folding it all the way down and switching it. This is your tablet mode right here, so don't worry about hitting the keys in the back accidentally. They're disabled. Alright, next mode, let's take a look at the tent mode. The tent mode will be highly useful if you're using the tablet to look up a recipe or watching a movie while laying in bed. And then you got your stand mode, which mode you can use this to adjust the viewing angle so you can enjoy movies and video and chat in perfect comfort. Check that out. Looks slick and smooth. Alright, keep in mind the Windows logo on the screen is also a home button. Alright, let's test out the Lenovo apps here and let's show what each description is and what the capabilities are. There's also certain kind of apps for this. For laptop mode, you got your phone companion, Evernote, Skype, MapMaster, Snagit, and Easy Flyer Creator. All right, next up, you got your stand mode, which has Yoga Cameraman, Film on Television, Skype, Netflix, Red Karaoke, and VLC. Let's check out the next page. 
Next page is your tent mode. Here you got your yoga chef. AccuWeather, Rara, Stage Light, Fresh Paint, Jetpack Joyride, Subway Surfers, Radio for Windows, Roller Coaster, and etc. And last but not least is your tablet mode. Here you got your Yogo Photo Touch, Zinio, Lenovo Tycoon, Lenovo Air Hockey, Lenovo Texas Hold'em, Lenovo Rowlet. Then you got some additional third party games like Raymond Jungle and Fruit Ninja. Next up, let's take a look at some of the preloaded apps that Lenovo included for this Yoga 2 Pro laptop. Here you got Yoga Chef. You can browse through certain recipes right here. Oh man, it's already making me hungry. Next app, let's take a look at Yoga Photo Touch. This app lets you edit, frame, do a collage, and do text bubbles, etc. Next up, you got the third party note taking application called Evernote. Right, let's go ahead and see what's next. Here you got Zinio which is an online magazine based subscription. Here you can shop and browse through top sellers, etc. Next up is test out motion control on the Yoga 2 Pro laptop. This is pretty similar to air gestures like on the Samsung Galaxy S4. This will be highly useful for those of you that like to use your laptop or tablet in the kitchen while looking up recipes and etc. Motion control has worked pretty good so far. Sometimes you'll suffer hiccups here and there like you first saw in the sample. So far, the only downsides to motion control is the lack of content that it supports. Currently, it only supports Microsoft Windows Media Player and PowerPoint. Next up, let's talk about display quality. The display on this laptop has been amazing. From the 3200 by 1800 resolution, everything looks vibrant, sharp, and clear, and so amazing. You've got to see this in person. And combine that with a 10-point capacitive multi-touch display, you've got yourself an amazing multimedia laptop here. However, don't get excited. I ran into an issue with the display on this laptop. For example, the yellows are way off on this computer. They kind of look like mustard yellow. At first, I thought I had a defective unit. However, after reading through multiple forums, many others are experiencing the same issue. The good news is Lenovo has acknowledged the issue and are working on a fix. However, that time frame on that fix is unknown. To temporarily get by, you can adjust the color balance and make do for now while Lenovo is working on a fix. Next up, let's talk about design and build quality. Overall, the design and build quality has been fairly good. Only issues I had was the top plastic cover, which at times can feel flimsy and fragile compared to a MacBook Air. Other than that, Lenovo did a good job in the regards to build quality. Next up, let's talk about keyboard and trackpad performance. The keyboard is a little recessed, however, typing on it is still fairly comfortable. Trackpad performance and two finger scrolling has been smooth and responsive. No issues here. Next up, let's talk about CPU performance. This laptop features an Intel Core i5-4200U Haswell processor with a base clock speed of 1.6 GHz and turbo boost of up to 2.6 GHz for one core and 2.3 GHz for two active cores. From day-to-day -day activities like web browsing, watching HD video, Netflix, and light photo editing, this CPU and GPU ran flawlessly with virtually no lag. With the Intel HD 4400 graphics, many of today's games will not be able to run at a playable frame rate even on low settings. Next up, let's test out the 128GB SSD performance. On read speeds, I was able to get 480.4 megabytes a second, and write speeds came in at 135.3. Battery performance has been spectacular. With the Intel i5 Haswell chip, I was able to get roughly around anywhere from 7 to 8.5 hours depending on my usage. Next up, let's talk about speaker performance. Considering the speakers are facing down on laptop mode, the sound is fairly decent for a laptop this size. If you're looking for the ultimate Ultrabook convertible without sacrificing performance, then look no further than the Lenovo Yoga 2 Pro laptop. This laptop has the beautiful super high resolution display with excellent battery performance and multiple modes that you can take advantage of depending on your usage. My only issues with this laptop were the recessed power button and the yellow tones on this laptop were not accurate. However, Lenovo is working on a fix and that should be resolved soon. Alright, thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please click that like button and please subscribe for more upcoming videos just like this one. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Peace.